friends, my name's Naomi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So welcome to a week reading vlog. I haven't done a reading vlog in a while, I think since like February. So I was missing it. I wanted to do a reading vlog. I'm in a really big reading mood and have an exciting week ahead of me so i just wanted to vlog this is the start i had my ring light out because i was filming a tiktok for work um exciting so i figured i would um i would film my intro here so yeah like i said i have a really exciting busy week ahead of me and an even more exciting weekend but that will be a completely separate uh vlog for the weekend um i'm going to be seeing taylor swift and that deserves its own vlog so it'll be worth the wait i promise but yeah i've had a pretty busy day already already went to the gym i had an interview for a magazine here in cleveland they wanted to interview me about my booktube bookstagram all of that um and i've been working so yeah that's basically what i've been doing all day I may be going live later for some reading sprints on my channel. And the most important thing, what am I currently reading? I am currently reading I Have Some Questions for You by Rebecca Mackey. Really enjoying it. I will talk a little bit more about this later, but I just wanted to say hello. I'm vlogging and yeah. <laughs> also, I've gotten a pile of books in the mail that I haven't put in any video. So I will be talking about all these books later. <laughs> They're such random, chaotic clips but i wanted to show you all my little book vase and i got this little um flower arrangement and i put it all together really cute and i just wanted to show it off because it's a book <laughs> hi friends so it is now 7 p.m it is still monday june 12th and i just made a little caramel cappuccino and i'm just gonna go through that pile of books that i showed earlier and give you a reading update um so earlier i mentioned if i could grab it um that i was reading i have some questions for you by rebecca mackey this was my book of the month pick i just finished it like 30 minutes ago and unfortunately i did not like it that much um i'm giving this a three out of five stars so if you don't know about i have some questions for you this is basically like a mix of um the egg girl by ruth ware and if we were villains so it's basically set in like a boarding school and there is this girl that dies and of course she is the roommate of our main character and our main character believes that someone is in jail who did not kill her so yeah that's basically the premise um I didn't like it that much I feel like <laughs> this is definitely dark academia um but like I've said I feel like I've read better um of this premise like i've read better there was differences in this one like our main character she's um a professor and she teaches film and podcasting so there is like an element of podcasting but not the sun gosh <laughs> but the element of podcasting it isn't in this book as much as i thought it would be so yeah this is a three out of five i didn't love it i don't think the twist was that great wasn't too too invested in this novel so unfortunately three out of five it was okay it was all right <laughs> and then i got a whole bunch of books recently from different uh, publishing companies so i wanted to come on here and kind of show them off because i feel like i haven't done that in a while so first off i got these four books from macmillan so i believe it was fierce reads um which is an imprint of macmillan um and they're all for pride month so they're all lgbt um literally got these yesterday so i don't know the premise for a lot of them um so the first one is forever is now by Mariama J. Lockington. Um, on the back here it says, I want to be brave enough to live in the moment always with every piece of me that knows forever is now, tomorrow is never certain. Still have no idea what this, <laughs> what this, ha what this is about. Ooh, it seems like our main character, str not me finding that interesting, but our main character struggles from chronic anxiety. I, t I tend to love books that have like anxiety representation, so I'm excited to read this this one looks so cute that i want to read like i this is the next book that i want to read we'll see if i pick this up next because i'm honestly not too sure what i'll be reading next but it is the do's and do nots of love and it looks like they're in a reality baking tv show and 
Um, I think she's competing again against her ex-girlfriend and she's also falling in love with one of the other contestants and it looks so cute. Of course, it's sapphic and yeah, this one is by Adiba J. Gerdar, um, the same author of The Hannah Wars. I haven't read anything by her, but I've heard great things and I'm so excited because this looks so cute and I love like baking and just cooking shows in general and I don't think I've read too much of it. So I'm so excited and I love this cover. The next one I have is Venom and Vow. It does look fantasy. And this one is by Anna Marie McLemore and Elliot McLemore. I don't know how they are related. Uh, I'm assuming they're related. Or maybe not. Maybe they're married. I don't know. But <laughs> yeah, this, is def this one definitely looks like fantasy. I haven't read any Anna Marie McLemore to this date, so... I'm excited for this, um, but yeah. And the last one I got is Becoming a Queen, also another beautiful cover, and it is by Dan Clay. Um, on the back here it says, people tell you to be yourself as if it's possible to have any idea who that is. I count about a thousand different selves. There's the person I am at school, and the person I'm at parties, there's the kid who makes loud jokes in the lunchroom, and the kid who can't say the first hello. There's scared me in gym class and silly me at theater camp. I've never been able to relate to something more in my life. <laughs> Alrighty, I have a couple more books. I'll go through them quickly. I honestly don't know much about these um, plots. So first up, I have um, Thin Air by Kelly M. Parker. This one was sent to me by Penguin Random House. And this uh, comes out in October. Um, from what I gather, this is set in eight hours. And it's kind of like a espionage type of book it is young adults i believe yes it's a ya thriller and it's basically a flight to paris full of teenagers seeking to win a scholarship turns deadly in this suspenseful locked door ya thriller i'm sorry about the sun so annoying i also got the sent this book um called house party a novel and it is edited by justin a reynolds I don't know anything about it. It looks like there's a, a couple different authors in this book. So, Ryan Lasala, my favorite. <laughs> Jasmine Warga. There's a couple authors on here. It, it does say a novel, so I thought it, it could have been like short stories. But on the inside in here, it says one epic night, ten unlikely teens, zero reasons to stay home. Welcome to house party. That sounds like a fun like a fun time. <laughs> Next up, I was sent The Dragon's Promise by Elizabeth Lim, which is the sequel to Six Crimson Canes. Haven't even read the first one. I know that this is a fantasy series and a lot of people enjoy it, so yeah. Next one, this cover looks amazing, beautiful. Um, it is House of Marion by JL. Looks like another fantasy. On the back here, it says Ball Gowns and Betrayal magic and mystery decadence and darkness i am actually really excited for this um it looks really interesting so and it has um stephanie garber blurbed it um so yeah i'm excited and the last book that i have is the rachel incident by carolyn donahue i don't know anything it looks like a literary fiction novel um it is blurbed back here by gabrielle savin and Ellen Hildebrand so I guess that's something <laughs> on the inside here it says a brilliantly funny novel about friends lovers Ireland in chaos and a young woman desperately trying to manage all three interesting alrighty well now I'm going to try to figure out what I'll be reading next um, I did forget to mention that I'm currently reading the arc for black sheep by Rachel Harrison slowly but surely getting through that baby I am loving it um, if you haven't heard of Rachel Harrison she writes horror novels she is my favorite um, I think black sheep currently that I'm reading is the only well no it's not the only book that I haven't read by her because I also haven't read the return by her but once I read this one and um, black sheep I've read all of her entire backlist but yeah Rachel Harrison writes incredible horror I even read her short story collection called bad dolls incredible um, her female main characters are just the best and every single one of her horror novels like um, features a, ma a female main character so amazing um, my favorite so far by her has been cackle which is witchy she has such sharp teeth which is um, a werewolf kind of um, novel and then 
this one black sheep is kind of hard to talk about but it's kind of culty-ish so if you've ever seen midsummer the movie with florence Pugh, that's kind of how i pitched this book um i am really enjoying it but i can't really talk too much about it because there are little twists in here that i didn't know were coming but i'm sure they're in the synopsis i just didn't know um so i'd rather keep it more vague <laughs> but i have been reading this i am about like 55 percent through um this arc so i am currently reading this and then i do want to find something else to read during sprints tonight oh yeah i just said during sprints tonight like you know i am going live in about an hour at 8 p.m for live reading sprints um and i think while i wait here for an hour i'm gonna film a recent reads video so i think i'm about to do that and yeah i'll let you know what i'm doing currently live on my channel doing some live reading sprints and editing as you can see <laughs> hi friends it is tuesday june 13th second day of this week reading vlog um it is currently 8 p.m i did not vlog at all today um but yeah i just wanted to come on here talk about what i read today and just what i did today i didn't vlog anything unfortunately i forgot to but i did go to work and then after work i went to dinner with my friend sarah we went to this place called pulpo and it was great we went to barnes and noble i didn't buy any books because i'm on a book buying ban and the reason mainly why we met is because I'm going to see Taylor Swift this weekend and she's been on a friendship bracelet making uh, kick. So she got me all of these friendship bracelets for the Taylor Swift show. And yeah, I'm so excited. So she got me all of these and there are some really cool ones in there. She made me one that says haze, like for lavender haze. And yeah, so thank you, Sarah. I don't think she watches my videos, but thank you, Sarah. <laughs> And then I wanted to talk about my reading because last night I ended up reading a little bit more um, after I did my little um, check-in um, last night. So during reading sprints, I ended up reading more of Black Sheep. So I'm currently, I think, about 60% in. I think I only read like 10% last night of Black Sheep by Rachel Harrison. Really loving it. I already talked about what this book is about and I can't really talk further um, on it because it will be spoilery. But just... Let me just say that the female characters that Rachel Harrison writes, like, they are the best. So complex and, like, complicated but, like, real women. And I just loved, like, I love, love the main character. Her name is Vesper, which is such a cool name, too. But I also, last night, I was in the mood to read something romance, something cute. Um, so, I showed it at the beginning of the video because uh, Macmillan Fierce Reads sent this book to me. And I started last night, The Do's and Do Nots of Love. And it is the cutest romance. Um, this is a young adult. I currently have this much left to read because I flew through this. Um, I read a whole bunch last night, this morning, um, got the audiobook as well, so I listened to some while I was at the gym, and I've just been flying through this book. So basically, this is set in Ireland, first of all. Um, second, this is queer, and our main character, she is Bengali. Um, I didn't know too much about the culture, so I've been learning a lot through this book, but this is basically a queer, british baking show like romance and it's young adult and it's the best so our main character is on a baking show like a junior like um teen baking show that is very similar to the great british bake-off and there's a character that reminds me of gordon ramsay and i think the like the author did that on purpose and on this baking show she is with her ex-girlfriend and she just met a new girl so there is romance in here um her parents own like a donut shop and she is the queen of puns and it is funny like super cute and it's just the best like if you love the british bake-off read this book it's so so good like i honestly i mean i'm almost done with it and so far it's a five out of five i love like i really really love this so i definitely recommend this if you're looking for like a light fluffy romance irish like it has everything um and also like they talk about like um racism in the in this and also like fat phobic comments because she's on like a reality tv show so she gets like certain tweets from people like 
saying really mean things to her because she is uh, from Bengalia and or Bangladesh. I forgot, sorry. <laughs> um, and because she is um, curvy and everything. So yeah, it, it talks a lot about a lot of different things and the fact that she's queer also, it's like, it's given me life and I truly, truly am loving this. So I, five out of five, like at this point in time and I don't think it'll be bad, like a bad ending. So yeah, loving this. I'm planning on getting in bed right now. Well, no, I'm gonna shower first <laughs> and then I'm gonna get in bed and get cozy because I've had a long day and I've been looking forward to reading this. So tonight I'll be reading this and more of Black Sheep and yeah, I will update you if I have any more updates tonight. Hi friends, it is literally 9 p.m. It is Wednesday and I worked all day and then I just went to get my hair done. So I just wanted to come on here and do a little clip showing y'all my hair. Uh, this side, my bangs look crazy, but um, it looks really nice. Um, I got layers and um, my highlights, you can't really see them because it's dark and like it just got done so it'll be lighter. But I got layers and I fixed my bangs and some highlights. So that's my hair. I'm about to go upstairs and shower and get ready for bed and tell y'all about my reading. Um, I am currently reading two arcs, but I will tell you more in a minute. Hello friends, I am now in my room. Here's my hair. You can kind of see in the light a little bit more of the blonde and the layers and stuff. My bangs are like a little crazy right now, so I have to fix it. Like I have to style it the way that I style it myself, but I'll do that tomorrow. But I, like I said, I wanted to give a little reading update. Um, so yesterday I was talking about how I had started The Do's and Do Nots of Love by Adiba Jair, Jairdar. I'm sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly. But I finished this yesterday, last night, like super late. And I gave this a 5 out of 5. I loved, loved, loved. Um, like I said, our main character is plus size. She's queer. She is... Bangladeshi I forget how to say it she's from Bengali um, and it was just the cutest uh, romance it is pretty wholesome and it talks about a lot of different things like fat phobia and racism and stuff in a really like cute setting also which was like a baking show out of all things um, and I love that there is a specific romance trope that I usually tend to not really love but I really loved it in this book and overall it was so so cute and so much fun and I like really liked it so I gave it a 5 out of 5 and now like I said earlier I am reading two arcs so I got a confirmation email that I got the uh, arc for the good the summer girl by oh I already forgot her name so the summer girl by L Kennedy I got an arc for this and I got the confirmation email yesterday so I'm like let me start it so I'm currently reading two arcs so I'm reading black sheep and also the summer girl and I am let me see how far into the summer girl I am 39% into the summer girl and I am 70% into black sheep um black sheep I've talked about so now with the summer girl this is the third book in a series and I didn't know if I had to read it in order to understand Understand, but I was told no so I started this so far I haven't been like confused about anything so it seems like it's definitely like a standalone um, I am like it's fine it's an okay book this is definitely not my type of romance um, it is pretty explicit I feel like it definitely like objectifies women and I honestly that's why one of the reasons why I really don't like male POVs and romances like this that are really like explicit and like a little bit spicier because they tend to be a little crude in my opinion um and also with the girl I feel like she also the way that they talk in these spicy romance novels is just so unrealistic to me I don't know like I don't know if I grew up a different way but it's just really really unrealistic and like in this book so far all they talk about is how this the main character the girl she is like her family's rich and how she has big boobs like that's all they talk about and it's just really weird and then when you're in the point of view of the guy he's just talking about how he can like appreciate a nice rack and I'm like how is that not objectifying women and like how am I supposed to find this funny like I just don't 
in my opinion that this is why I don't read these type of romances because they don't I don't like them um, I don't find them funny and I don't find them very realistic I mean I don't know if men think that way maybe they do but I just the way that they talk about like relationships and casual sex and all these things like to each other in the books it just seems so unrealistic like I've never really experienced like a conversation like that um, so yeah I don't it's definitely not for me but it's a fine book like there are some funny scenes because our main character is like really kind of awkward um, but the whole premise of the book is that she is rich and she's staying back in this like beach coastal town in Boston where her grandma lives and basically her grandma used to own like this big hotel and she just sold it so they're basically rich and she's trying to find like a summer fling because she's never really had like a summer romance and that's basically what she's trying to find and our male character obviously is one of those boys that he never doesn't want to be in a relationship and all this stuff and yeah i mean it's pretty basic i guess i don't know it's fine um i'm definitely flying through it because like it's a romance it's not really like written to complex like or anything i know i sound like i'm really shitting on this book but like it's fine like so far it's like probably like a 3.5 3.75 maybe no that's too high maybe like a 3.5 on the higher end um it's all right um but yeah it's definitely not for me i know that a lot of people love like these type of romances and i just i've never <laughs> really enjoyed them and yeah for black sheep i've i've talked about black sheep and i'm loving it still it, i'm 70 percent in um i need to like really sit down and read that one i feel like i read that one slower because i just don't want it to end because after i read black sheep i have the return by rachel harrison and then i don't have anything until she publishes something else so i'm basically fucked <laughs> all right but that is it i work from home tomorrow so i'm really excited about that and yeah i'm about to go take a shower and do all the things before bed good morning it is thursday it is 7 a.m i am currently headed to the gym and today's the last day of this week reading vlog because like i mentioned this weekend i'm gonna go see taylor swift so i leave for taylor swift tomorrow so i'll start vlogging that um tomorrow so today's the last day of this week reading vlog um like i said i'm headed to the gym and i have been reading on the treadmill um on my kindle so i'll be doing some reading this morning at the gym but yeah i'll catch up with you later hi friends i am home it is 10 a.m and i just wanted to update y'all i am currently working i don't know if i've ever shown my setup on like a vlog so i have like the standing desk now monitor laptop and i have a little treadmill so sometimes when i get home after the gym i still get more steps in um yeah so that's what i'm doing right now i'm currently working on a little graphic for work um and yeah i just wanted to update hold on i just wanted to update that i am now currently into the summer girl and black sheep i'm currently 75 percent into both of those so that's really exciting i'm hoping to finish at least one of them by today if not both that would be amazing but we'll see what happens but yeah i'm just gonna get back into work i am getting my nails done later um in about like two hours and i just have a whole bunch of meetings and that's literally my day so hopefully when i'm at my nail appointment i can read a little bit <laughs> but we'll see so this is what i look like while i'm working on my treadmill <laughs> um i just put this treadmill on and then i just work like so you can't even see my face but there's my monitor and this is what i do <laughs> hi friends it is later in the day it is 5 p.m i'm almost done with work I do have one more meeting and then I will be completely done. Uh, I am going out for dinner in a little bit. That's why I'm wearing this dress. And I did my hair a little bit and put like the tiniest bit of makeup <laughs> on my face. So I'm going out for dinner and then I should be back home. I have to clean my room and then start packing for Taylor Swift. So I will give you an update later on my reading and all of that. And yeah, just let you know what's been happening. Uh, but yeah, it's been a super busy day, so I haven't really read much else. But yeah, I just wanted to check in, and that's it. Hi friends, I am chilling here with 
Aguardo. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to do the last update of the night. It is currently 11 p.m. And I just wanted to update that I finished um, The Summer Girl by L. Kennedy. I keep forgetting the author's names. Um, but anyway, I just finished this. This was such a quick read. Um, I got an arc for this, as I mentioned earlier, through NetGalley. So I was just on NetGalley putting in my review. Um, I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars. Um, like I said on my review that I literally just wrote, thought that the romance was pretty basic. It's definitely not my type of romance. It was too explicit for me. I really don't like that whole, like, just looking for something casual and then they fall in love. Like, it's just not my thing type of romance it's not my type of love story it's not what I gravitate towards but what I did love was their family dynamics so I really loved um both our main character and the love interest like she had an interest in writing and he had an interest in um like sailing and all of that so I did enjoy that and then also both of their families had very different dynamics and our main character has a lot of trauma with her mother and her dad and her stepmother and she has um stepsisters and all these things so I enjoyed that aspect of it and our main character's grandma and how she owned this hotel I enjoyed all of that but the romance itself I didn't and the fact that this is a romance novel that should be like the main thing that you like about it and I did not but I ended up giving it a three stars it was okay it was just the romance like if the romance had been slightly different to what something that I like more I probably would have given it a higher rating but it's just it wasn't for me I know I'm not the audience for this book I know that people like these type of books that are like explicit and yeah it's just really hard for me because I just find them really unrealistic in my opinion um but yeah I guess that's it I am still 75% into black sheep and I'm probably going to read some until I fall asleep tonight and yeah that is basically it Ooh, got some texts <laughs> but i am super excited because i am going to be seeing taylor swift tomorrow and i'm going to be vlogging that separately so watch out for that but yeah thank you so much for watching this week reading vlog i had a lot of fun i'm going to be doing more of these and yeah like i said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye